Hey everybody, welcome back to Ripping for Ripkins. This is Corey. Once again, we're doing a PC mixer break. I got some, uh, I didn't get fat packs this time. I got the uh, regular 14 card Series 2 2020 packs. So I got three, six, seven, eight of those. I'm going to save those for the end. Uh, put them off to the side. I also got a hanger and a blaster of Heritage. Working on this set pretty hard right now. Uh, if you've seen my last few videos, you understand that. And you definitely have seen that. And of course, my new all reliable Diamond Kings Blaster, which has been absolutely fire for me the last few videos. So I'm going to save this one and I'm going to start with Heritage High Number, or higher Heritage High Number. Heritage 2020 is not the high number. But the 1971 design tops heritage and see if we can pull us some more short prints and possibly a chrome insert numbered card real one auto would be nice haven't seen one of those yet heritage has not been as kind as diamond kings has been to me but all it takes is one pack to change it so let's go J Hap, J A Hap. I always say J Hap. Hanniger. Oh, we got some chromage. I see shiny. Van Meter. Arietta. Castillo. And there is the Alvarez Aquino. Column Ran. I don't know why I just put that one down. That's the best, one of the best cards in the set. Kendrick playing hero. It's a Phillies card. I let it slip. Oh, Bryce Harper. Not a bad one right there. And the chromage number to 571. Tops Heritage Chrome Bryce Harper. Nice hit right there. Out of the hangar. And this is the 1971 flashbacks. They have this in the baseball and in the... Uh, news so this is a news flashback and you also have them in baseball flashbacks i kind of just picked up on that when, my, when i was putting away my cards in my set so very unlikely that i have a uh, short print considering i got that sweet harper bubba starling actually i've seen him i got to see him play here in my hometown played for the farm team right here in North Carolina. Let's see if by chance we did get one. There's another, that's the other insert. So, like I said, I don't think you get one when you get those inserts, but, and I don't mind. I, I like those chrome. So there is the first one and we might as well go ahead and rip the blaster so I can keep all these together. That was a nice surprise out of the hanger box. Try to keep these on camera when I open them. Always pull them behind the camera and end up knocking it around. But here we go. Let me fold that back in there and I can keep it looking somewhat tidy up here. So two nice Two nice hits out of the hangar, and let's see what the blaster has in store. Tanaka, Pujols, Kendrick again, Myers again. There is the Willie Mays insert. This is his 1956. I think there's one for every season that he played, or every season he played with the Giants at least. Austin Hedges, the Astros rookie stars, not including Jordan Alvarez. So it, that had the maze, so that one will not have a short print in there. I'm starting to learn this. I know I'm way behind on these, but these are all over the place at my Target and Walmart. Like every everywhere I go, they have them. So I'm able to pick these up almost every time I go to town. Posey, Samarja, and this one should have a short print if 
Oh, $3.99. Guess not. But I do get to see these all over this place, so I'm getting caught up now on my heritage. I was this is a this looks really good inside of a binder too. It's my Kyle Tucker. Chappie and Murphy back to back. And that is the Nationals winning the World Series. There it is. Chappie is the short print. And if you're new to the Heritage, short print is anything over number 401 up to number 500, which is the last card in this particular set. Matt Beatty, Boyd, Colton Wong. There's a then and now. Star Joel and Alonzo. That's another insert set. And the Tatis Mini. These are pretty cool. This is only the second one I've received so far. I have the Pete Alonzo as well. You see that's a 25 card set. So that is a nice little hit as well. That's the then and now insert. Alcantara and Paxton. So that will not contain a short print because it had the sweet mini. I don't know what the, uh, well, I got the box right here. I don't know what the odds are on the minis. I guess they're called stickers maybe. There's definitely some things in here I haven't seen, but the then and now inserts one in 18. That's the mini. Those are chrome, high number short prints, one in three. That's the heritage mini. I don't know. Don't know what they're called. I have to look those up. But those, uh, they got to be pretty rare. That's pretty much, like I said, the second one out of all the boxes and packs I've opened so far. I do have a hobby box I'm going to rip one of these days. But right now I'm putting this thing together strictly with fat packs and hangers and blaster boxes. So this one should have something in it. There it is. Christian Walker. High numbered SP. Now let's see if it has this one more. There's the Matt Chapman New Age Performers. Another cool looking insert set in side of Heritage. And last pack on the Heritage, and then we'll rip some. I don't know, I gotta make a decision here. Whether I rip the retail packs. Uh-oh, I got a congratulations. That's a Xander Bogarts. I mean, there's no way to, when you have initials XB. So I got the Xander Bogarts Clubhouse Collection. Very nice put that up there as well yeah XB is not there's not much uh, you can do when you see XB on there for the initials it's pretty much you know what you're gonna get but a pretty nice uh, I would say hanger and blaster right there the relic the chrome the Alvarez and Aquino rookie card, the Tatis Mini, and two SPs. So, very nice. Definitely happy with that. And let me put these off to the side right here. And I'm going to do, I gotta, I gotta do it. Diamond Kings is right now on my top. So, I've gotta rip the Target exclusive. Hopefully, get me some Tatis inserts. 
Dakota Hudson, and we have, no, I was fooled by that Cespedes, Daniel Norris, Luis Arias, nice pack so far. Uh, I did see it. The Jeff Bagwell, Turkey Red Chrome. So that is a nice addition. And the Strawberry, Turkey Red, that I did not have yet. To go with my Rio Ruiz, who is, who homered today. As the Orioles have, when I'm recording this video, are tied for first place in late July. Tied with the Yankees in late July. That hasn't happened in many, many years. I don't need any comments. It is what it is. It's late July and they're tied for first. There's the Smith Gold Cup, Kopech. Homer Bailey, Kevin Gossman. We got a Warriors of the Diamond and we got the Luis Robert then and now rookie card. So I'll take that one. That's a nice Luis Robert and the Hank Aaron Warriors of the Diamond Career War of 143. It's a nice insert set. I don't have many of these as of yet. I've got maybe 10. And there's the uh, Dunn rookie as well. I'll put that down there. So Tom Murphy, who had a breakout season last year, and Strasburg. Everybody knows what Strasburg did last year. So far, two packs, not disappointed at all. Series 2 has been good to me here as of late. Ripping this retail. I've been striking out on my Luis Robert rookie card, but... I've hit on a lot of other things. There's John Means who hasn't made it back yet. And we got us the Tanaka 85, the Clemente Turkey Red, Reynaldo Lopez, and Colby Allard. So right now I'll keep those two on the screen. Those are the two best ones. I mean, just to get a chrome out of a small retail pack. And I incidentally, I used my, um, the Topps Uts. <coughs> Excuse me. The Topps Uts gave you this with every pack you bought. Um, I've been buying these for a long time. Put this set together, but you get a dollar off of these packs. This is why I got these packs. Series 1, Series 2, or Update. I've got a big stack still I'm going to use on the Update as well. But I bought all these with this, so they were $1.99 each at Target, plus my 5% for the Target card. So I got these for fairly cheap, considering what the normal price is. There's Nunez. He homered today also. Ozuna. Got his vintage stock out of my last rip. And the Decade's Best Reggie. And I thought that was Luis Robert for a second. The Collins rookie in Turkey Red. Gatterall rookie. And Michael Taylor. A lot of glare there at the end. I was struggling to see that. So we're getting our Turkey Reds. Turkey Reds is a very easy set. It's a 100 card set to put together, but it, with every pack you open, you get basically a Turkey Red, unless you have a hit inside that pack. I was trying to, trying to cheat there and see if I could see something. Cam Gallagher, Kiermaier, you Darvish. A lot of people pick you Darvish to win the Cy Young in the AL, or in the NL. There is the Trout. Significant statistics. It's a nice insert set that I have yet to really start because it's only the second one I've pulled. The Michael Conforto, Turkey Red, Colton Wong, and Quang Hung Kim. He's the closer, I believe, in St. Louis. 
think he had a rough first outing too. Got roughed up pretty good, but everybody, it's early. There's so much overreaction in baseball right now. Like I said, the Orioles are in first place when I'm recording this video. The cat just sneezed. They're glad to be home from the trip. They had to ride with me all the way to Texas and back, and they were not very happy about it. Basante's with his new team. Justin Smoke with his new team. Chris Sale not playing. And the Rick Porcello rainbow foil. It's a nice one. And the Edgar Martinez turkey red to go with Clint Frazier and James McCann. So we got two packs left, and then we will rip our Diamond Kings. But my, uh, let's see, my Series 2 set is done. I'm still waiting on my Hobby and Jumbo to be shipped. They've already been ripped on camera. But uh, I've already completed the set. Boom! Yes! Finally! It's about time. I sent two to PSA, and I've got two on the way, but I needed one for my binder. So... There we go. Luis Robert rookie card going in the binder today, finally. So, number five overall. I've got to send, I got to get his cards in PSA grades and stack them right now. And there is the gold for my binder as well. I do put together the gold set. It is a long, long process putting this together. But they got the Ravello there in gold, the Hank Aaron in turkey red. So a nice pack to get the Robert rookie card as well as the gold card. So I got one turkey red chrome and one gold out of these so far. And I know my odds are not as good in these, but I also pulled a printing plate from these retail packs so I'm not gonna say that they don't contain some nice hits inside there there's Kyle Tucker so I got him in my heritage and my series 2 break we got some shenanigans here let's see yep shenanigans see it my second vintage stock in two days BAM Kila vintage stock. <laughs> wow. So <laughs> you gotta be you gotta be really careful with those vintage stock. They don't flip those like they do everything else. So and if you're new to collecting, you can see the tops design at the top. You get the vintage stock hook right there. All the rest of the cards contain this tops at the top. It's got a different feel on the back, too, as well. That's why they call it Vintage Stock. So, a very nice hit right there. Series 2 does not disappoint ever. Unless you buy, like, one or two packs at a time. But, nice. Let me put these cards up here. And we're going to rip our Diamond Kings. And Diamond Kings is definitely going to have to have, it's going to have to bring it today because everything else has had it. That has been one good rip so far of Heritage and one good rip of Series 2. So we're going to see if Diamond Kings can do what it's been doing since I started opening it. And we'll get all of our packs out and we don't have as many cards in Diamond Kings to hit on let's put that back like that so it looks a little bit more eye appealing but you can see you only get seven packs 35 cards so it's gonna have to come out of the gate swinging right here got an in the zone Pedro Martinez on the back but you'll get your artist proofs and you'll get your inserts out of every pack here. Munoz rookie, Dubon rookie. And there is the there is the artist 
uh, proof right there, Grover Alexander, and the end of zone, Pedro J. Martinez. So very nice start. But you'll get aficionados, you'll get uh, Diamond Kings, you'll get DK206 inserts, you'll get the 3000 inserts. This one is the aficionado Ichiro. Jose Ramirez, Solak, Donnie Walton, and our artist proof is Logan Webb, rookie card, and the aficionado is Ichiro, which I just happened to pull. I believe it was on my last break, I got that. So I have started duplicating a few of my cards, and that's when, that's when I start to get a little anxious when I'm opening these cards. This is a nice one because they got a DK Originals on the back and they don't, you don't get those very often. Kyle Lewis rookie card, the Berrios, and there is the uh, all-time Diamond King, Ty Cobb. And the DK Originals, Justin Verlander. These are pretty sweet looking cards right there. But I think it's a 10 card insert set and that's only my third one. They are definitely, uh, not easy to pull i don't want to waste your time looking for the number but if you're curious you can look that up fairly easy this is thicker aha uh -huh, boom 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 i see it seager oh stay piazza oh stay nap lajue all right i'm gonna pull the 3000 each row to the front and lajue is going to tell me Oh, I had it right the first time. Oh, come on. Are you serious? Oh, wow. Jersey Kings, Jordan Alvarez. Man, does Diamond Kings ever produce or what? Wow. I should have saved it for the end, but I... I couldn't. Diamond Kings. Leave them on the shelf for me, people. They are fantastic. Here's the Tony Gwynn, the Logan Webb rookie base, and we got the Pete Alonzo artist proof. So that is a nice one. And there is the Gallery of Stars, Aaron Judge, another insert set. Another phenomenal looking insert set in this product. I know I've uploaded so many videos of Diamond Kings, but how can you not put it, how can you not leave it up when you, pull so many good cards out of here. Bryce Harper, got a DK206 on the back. Maris, Jake Fraley, just recently started PCing Jake Fraley. He's from the same state I am from. The first state, the great state of Delaware. Jake Fraley from Middletown, Delaware. I just found that out today. And since I'm right here, I am going to, see, I pulled this today. And as you look on the back, hometown, Middletown, Delaware, born in Frederick, Maryland. Number two pick of the Rays in 2016, Jake Fraley. So, I am going to start collecting him. Back to our originally scheduled programming. Jalen Davis rookie card and the Bryce Harper DK206. Very interesting looking eyes. And they gave him a very clean beard. But this is a pretty cool little set as well. Alright, last pack and we'll be out of here if you are new here click that subscribe button turn that bell on for the notifications and you can watch this future videos that are posted on this channel which may never happen because i may never get this pack open the last pack is going to make me work for it there we go but leave me a like if you like what you saw 
and tell me below, drop me a comment about the products and tell me what you think. Manny Machado, PC guy, and I believe it's the first one I've gotten out of Diamond Kings. And we've got the Dom DiMaggio framed blue border looking very Waldo-like. And the Mike Trout Diamond King, all-time Diamond King. And the artist palette is going to be Fernando Tatis. I don't know if I had Tatis, but another sweet looking card. Like I said, awesome product. Robert, Jersey Kings, Alvarez, pretty nice rip. I am very pleased as always with these products. That's why I'm putting them in sets and putting them in binders. Thank you guys for watching. Until next time, later fellas.